Hey boys and girls, what is good with you? BQ here. This is the Impact Lounge YouTube channel. If you're not a subscriber, please hit that button. Here at the table, the kitchen table, enjoying my last couple days of vacation, got my coffee and everything. Was hit with a bit of news this morning um, in my Facebook DM. And uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it out there. You know, sometimes I do receive some information and, and some of it, I try to have integrity. So some of it I'm going to keep, you know, close to the chest because I don't think it should be out there. And some of it, I think, is cool to share with people. So um, what I'm understanding, um, so let's talk about Jeremy Borash here for a second. Impact has said all the right things regarding his departure. And uh, here, my personal opinion, I, mean, I have already dropped a video on this. He's not irreplaceable in the long term, but he's very irreplaceable in the short term. And he basically dropped his, his uh, resignation on Impact out of nowhere. And uh, the company regardless of what they're saying publicly is not really happy about it because they had, they're scrambling now to, to fill those, you know, to fill those roles. And if you remember on Twitch, he was supposed to do the, um, the law show. So they're still going to move forward with the Josh Matthews and the Tyrus shows, but you know, J JB, um, was going to have his own show and he was going to, uh, produce and do a lot of things regarding Twitch. So he was kind of the Twitch guy and now it's, um, okay, who are we going to find to, fit these, um, you know, you know, to fit back into these roles and everything. So when you read the rumor that JB showed up at, you know, raw or something the other day, and so I was just here to visit friends, like he kind of, of all people kind of screwed the company, <laughs> you know, like that's what I was saying in my other video. You got to think he feels some sort of way about the wrestlers who have kind of done that. So it's just for him to ultimately do if ultimately do that is crazy. Like if he wants to move on, that's fine. I don't, I don't knock anyone for moving on. But it's, it's in the manner that you do it. You know what I mean? When you leave a, a job, you give them a two-week notice. You don't just give them a 24-hour notice and bounce. It's, it's all about respect. Another thing I had mentioned was that JB was supposed to do the play-by-play -play with Don Callis as the color commentator. And that's obviously going to fall through because <laughs> obviously he's not going to do it. Uh, Don Callis and, and Scott Demore had said in an uh, interview that did because they're doing media in the UK today that... Basically, they were paying attention to social media and people's problems, the fans' issues with the commentary. So that's why they were making a change. So they, they really are truly listening to us. But right now, as of the, the rumor that I'm receiving is that for the, uh, I guess, it, it, either the next set of tapings or the pay-per-view, whatever, I don't think we're going to see it in this set of tapings. I think they're going to roll with JB. They uh, are looking at bringing in Kevin Kelly. Um, who does, who works with Don Callis in New Japan. And, you know, he did Ring of Honor for quite some time. Um, and, and he does a really good job. And, and I, I wish I could give, you know, give a better uh, analysis of what I think about his work. You know, I, there was a period of time I did watch a lot of Ring of Honor and thought he did a great job of play-by-play. -play. Um, the, the announced team as a whole at Ring of Honor, I didn't really care for, but I think it's because they use really cheap headsets and there was yelling and it just sounded like crap. But as far as, you know, a play-by-play -play guy, great job. But this is, this is the underlying factor with this. You want to bring in guys who the wrestling fans like and respect to do play-by-play -play color commentary. So if it, it does turn out that it is, in fact, Kevin Kelly and Don Callis, like that's really a really, really, really good thing. It's a lot of uses of the word really there. Really good thing for impact. Because if you look at, you know, whether it's Josh Matthews, uh, Michael Cole, um, I can't even think of any other names. You know, there's a lot of guys behind the booth that the wrestling fans genuinely do not like. So having a respectable tandem in there could be really, really good. I still think it would be cool to include a, a female in there. Cause I think that would be really groundbreaking. Um, especially if it was the play by play and you know, there's not, there's probably not many options out there to do so, but I still think that would be kind of cool. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm getting that Kevin Kelly right now is what they're looking at, what they're trying to pull off. And there's, there's a lot of holes they're trying to fill with the Jeremy Borash departure. He did leave them high and dry. It was not a two week notice by any means. So they, uh, yes, they're saying the right things, but they are pretty upset about the situation. Um, uh, but they will get people to step up. Like we always say Jeremy Borash is the glue. Like he is the glue, but he's not, 
he's not irreplaceable. He re- he really no one is irreplaceable in this world. Um, I shouldn't say that, but it's it's you can replace him in the long term with young hungry people. And as Don Callis said, we might find the new Jeremy Borash. So that's all I got for you guys this morning. Sorry if it's a little echoey. Like I said, I'm I'm in the kitchen um, enjoying my coffee, but I wanted to drop this on you guys. So hit that subscribe button if you're a first timer. We'll talk to you soon. Peace.